Hello, this is Ken Spectacle. I'm here with another match of Blue Red Eminent Domain. And I would like to go first. Okay, so I've got Shivan Reef, Mountain, Serum Vision, Serum Visions, Pyroclasm, then a bunch of big spells I can't cast yet. This is a tricky keep. I think. I think I mulligan this since I don't have any acceleration. So I'm all I'm going to be doing on the early turns is casting these. But I mean, Serum Visions does help me find. I don't know. I mean, if these were preordains, this would definitely be a keep. Also, I don't have a painless blue source. So that has something to do with it. So I'll mulligan. And this hand doesn't really do much, but I'm going to keep it. Mountain. I'll ship that to the bottom. Let's hope I draw some action. Island go. Celestial Colonnade. Okay, so this is some sort of blue-white X control deck. Which I think I'm I match up pretty well against other control decks. Since they tend to need their lands to cast their big spells. Of course, if I don't draw any action, then that is a problem. So I'm I'm guessing that this is straight blue-white control. So I think I'm going to play Mind Stone off the Is It Signet. Probably run this into a counter spell. And no, it resolves. Alright. I'll cast in another Mind Stone. And then I'll play Ghost Quarter. Pass the turn. And now if I if I'm able to just keep leaving up Ghost Quarter here. I mean one disadvantage is that I now I don't have mana leak up. So this turn they can do basically what they want. But then if I can if I can keep leaving Ghost Quarter up, then they can never attack with their colonnade. Okay, flooded strand, pass. Yeah, because I don't think Blue Eyed Amiria plays Mystic Gate. Wildfire. I can't cast Wildfire yet unless I Ghost Quarter myself. And if I do that, I'm down on lands anyways. But then my opponent has no lands and I've got a bunch of mana rocks. So, that might actually be fine. So, yeah... I guess I'll do that. Our opponent is casting Shadow of Doubt. Well, let's see. One, two, three... Four, five, six. Okay, so yeah, we can't. We can't cast wildfire now. But so I'm gonna mana leak this. And I should have just used the mana that was floating in my mana pool. Oh well. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can cast Wildfire next turn, I guess. And I'll just let the man this mana empty out. That was a that was sort of a bad play, I guess. My opponent's gonna crack their fetch land. Hallowed fountain tapped. Yes, I would like. Alright. Let's see. 
planes. Okay, so now they have cryptic mana. Okay. I think I'll go Mountain Go. Because I don't really want to play this wildfire into a cryptic command. Avon Mind Sensor. Huh, well that's interesting. Fortunately, I don't really need to search my library. So, this isn't going to affect me that much. But it is a 2-1. Which is kind of annoying if I can't get wild... If, if I can't resolve a wildfire or a pyroclasm. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually just crack a mind stone right now. Maybe I draw a bolt or something. Frost Titan. Well I'm going to I think I'm going to hold off casting these big spells until I get the until I can uh, counter. Or maybe okay, so second frost titan. So I think I run the first frost titan into the cryptic and then try to resolve the second one. Next turn. I think that's what I'm going to do here. can make my opponent think I'm a bad magic player for not playing around counter magic. <laughs> Frost Titan. Get it cryptic commanded or maybe remand. Oh, it resolves. I guess that means he has path. So I'm going to go ahead and freeze the colonnade. So Frost Titan's probably going to eat a path. No? Oh, well. If this ends up working. Oh, Flagstones. That's not really a good sign. That is surprisingly good against Wildfire. Okay, Kitchen Finks. That's also annoying because that that's also good against wildfire so now it looks like they're leaving up remand to me So I don't think I'm going to play into the... I don't think I'm going to play into the remand. I'm just going to... Attack with Frost Titan. If he wants to chump it with Kitchen Finks, that's fine with me. I'm just going to freeze down his colonnade again. Okay, that's fine. Ghost Quarter, which is mostly ineffective against me but with the mind sensor on the battlefield it's rather annoying let's see mountain okay so he's hitting me for four a turn I'm hitting him for six a turn so I kill him in four turns, he kills me in three. Okay. So. I think 
I'm going to try and resolve this second Frost Titan. See, how do I want to do this? I think I'll leave up Island Mine Stone. And that's probably going to hit a remand or a cryptic command. Yeah, cryptic command. Oh, no. What's this? Sphinx's Revelation. I haven't seen that card in a long time. Okay, so he just drew a bunch of cards. Do I want to choke him on mana, or do I want to lock down his flying attacker? I think I'll freeze the mind sensor here. And let's see, he uh, has probably drawn a path or a cryptic command, but cryptic command is going to be, he can resolve cryptic command, but then that takes up his entire turn. So if he goes cryptic to bounce and draw, or actually probably what he's going to do is use cryptic command next turn to uh, tap all my creatures or he could have some other spell supreme verdict I am kind of fine with that I mean, it does kind of suck to lose two Frost Titans, but... So if he plays something here... Then I can resolve my Wildfire. Yeah, okay. So he's just got Ghost Quarter up now. Get to resolve my wildfire. He'll still he'll be able to have flagstones be one of the lands he sacks. So he's really only down three lands, which means he'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he'll have five lands. So I think that means I want to not crack my mind stone here, or maybe it does since I'm down to one card in hand and he has five. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to crack Mind Stone. And a land. That's not the worst, actually. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I will play the Mind Stone. Or maybe, yeah, I'll play the Mind Stone. I'll empty my hand, which isn't great, but what can you do? I'll leave up a blue because it doesn't really matter. Wildfire. I think I can't, I think I want to hang on to the Ghost Quarter. So let's see, I can sacrifice mountain, 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 island, I think is what I'm going to do. Opponent's going to make flagstones one of their lands they sack. 
So then they get to have five mana, which is the same amount of mana I have. So this didn't really affect them that much. I have no idea what this deck is. I want, I, you'd think blue white control, but I haven't seen a single counter spell. What do they have for six mana? Sun Titan. Okay, so is this some form of a Myria Titan? Uh, get back flagged. Oh, that's a nice little combo he's got going there. Yeah, I can't really deal with a Sun Titan. Well, I can with a Frost Titan if I just tap down the Sun Titan. Mana Leak. <sighs> I don't think Mana Leak helps me out much here. I don't think I'm going to win this. That's unfortunate. Well... Let's pop out our opponent's graveyard. Let's see, one, two, two. Haven't actually seen that many non creature spells or instants, so I'm not sure how effective bringing in my negates are going to be. Um, I think relics come in though. Yeah, the more I play these sort of attrition-y slow matchups, or this isn't even really attrition, this is a control mirror. The more I play these, the more I really want to get Karanos for my sideboard. But Karanos is about 35 tickets online, so... Which is a little bit out of my budget. Annex. Um, yeah, that doesn't save me. So, I'm just dead. I'm gonna concede here. Not show them the annex. They haven't seen any of the land stealing stuff. So as far as they know, this is just some sort of weird blue-red control. Maybe they think I'm an ex-twin player that never ended up getting steam vents or what or fetch lands or whatever. Okay, so negate. I saw a grand total of two spells that I could actually counter with negate. Sphinx's Revelation and Shadow of Doubt. Which he's probably going to board out the Shadow of Doubt. And Sphinx's Revelation is actually pretty good here, but I don't know. I think I get kind of blown out. Or I, I can blow him out with Dispels, I guess. So, so what's bad? Lightning Bolt seems really bad. Um, condescend. Since I'm on the play, it's probably fine. Bring in the relics. Because they're just better than the lightning bolts. Pyroclasm does, doesn't do much either. Actually, you know, I think maybe I do keep the lightning bolts in. Because I can... Just because they do actually do something. Whereas the pyroclasm is literally dead in this matchup. Yeah, one thing about this deck is I haven't really come up with a way to deal with giant creatures. Since I don't have access to black or white. Which is rather unfortunate. I mean, I used to have dismembers in the sideboard, but even that doesn't deal with a titan. So the only thing I can... The only thing would be something like a Path to Exile or like Victim of Night. Which... I couldn't so I couldn't play Victim of Night even if I splashed black, so it'd have to be like go for the throat. And I'm already planning on splashing green in this deck, so I don't think splashing black 
is really where I want to be. I don't know. That's probably one of the things keeping this out of the top tiers. But these uh, decks that have giant creatures don't... I don't think they're... I mean, there's Tron, I guess. Tron and Eldrazi are some of the... Okay, yeah. Big creatures are kind of a big thing in the meta right now. But I do well against Tron and Eldrazi because I... Normally, I get to steal lands. That last game, I didn't. Okay, so this hand, I have one land, which is an automatic mulligan. I'm going to keep this. Dream Leash, I think I'm fine leaving that on top. Because I am guaranteed to be able to cast that turn four. If my opponent doesn't have a counterspell. Which I haven't seen any counterspells from them. But they probably boarded in a bunch. So yeah. I'll just leave that on top. I'll go. Island. Relic. Which admittedly. I don't think it's great in this matchup. But it does more than. It does more than Pyroclasm. So I'll go Mountain. Is it Signet? Pass the turn. Okay, they crack with trigger on the stack. I'm going to Relic them. They have Wall of Omens here. Yep. Alright, Annex. That was actually a really good draw. So They're tapped out. And I've got four mana. So now I'm going to, instead of playing Mindstone, I'm just going to Annex the Hallowed Fountain. Which they probably didn't see coming. And the opponent concedes. I guess they were really screwed on mana. Alright, so on the play, Condescend is... Or on the draw, Condescend is worse. So I'm going to bring in a second repeal. Which can deal with, I guess, Mind Sensor. If I have enough mana, I can hit a Sun Titan with it? I don't know. Doesn't seem great. But. Alright. One lander. I'm going to mulligan. This one I'm going to keep. Because I, I have a scry and two draws to find an, um, a mana accelerant. And then I can play Annex. Although that's certainly going to be worse on the draw. Oh hey look at that. See so I'm going to go for that line. It's probably not going to work. If they have, man if they have uh, counterspell mana up I'm going to not. Cast that, so let's just lead on Island, Serum Visions. Find another Annex, another Serum Visions, and a Desolate Lighthouse. Lighthouse is seems really good here. So I definitely want to draw that Lighthouse. Do I want to draw another Annex? I think I do, but not just yet. So I'm going to put Annex on top, then Lighthouse on top. And hope that my lighthouse doesn't get ghost quartered. Okay, so our opponent has what looks like remand up. Oh, and if they actually ghost quarter my Sheevan Reef here, that's really annoying. 
because then I have to I have to shuffle away the annex and they they saw me scry that to the top. So but I think I'm actually fine shuffling away annex. So and so if they don't have remand, which I hope they don't. I actually also hope they don't have mana league here. Oh, they don't. So it resolves. All right. And they don't go Scorder or Sheevan Reef. But yeah, that would have put them down a land too. And they don't have a third land. Oh. Well, this is looking good. Um, So they didn't have a counterspell last turn. There's no reason to think that they have one this turn. So... I'll play Desolate Lighthouse, and I think I'll annex this. And our opponent now has a counterspell. Okay, remand, sure. They find a land. Meddling Mage. Okay, they're probably going to Meddling Mage Annex. Which is clever. If I draw a Dream Leash here, <laughs> that'd be so great. Sadly, do not. Oh, well, glad I kept the bolts in now. So I think I'm gonna play. So now, now that he has this ghost quarter, I am not gonna get very many activations of my desolate lighthouse. So I'm gonna play an island. So that if he activates ghost quarter in response to me playing serum visions, to kill my lighthouse, I can still actually activate lighthouse. Okay. So I draw a relic and there's another annex and a lightning bolt. So I don't think I need third annex right now, but I do want the lightning bolt. And I think Yeah, I I think I I don't play anything here and I just pass. And then when I loot, I probably, I pitch Relic since it really isn't doing much here. So I'm going to loot end of turn, draw the Lightning Bolt, pitch the Relic. And is our opponent just going to, yep, they're just going to leave up mana. Okay, let's uh, activate Loot House. Pitch the Relic. Draw Mind Stone. That's pretty good. Okay, so let's play Ghost Quarter. And then I'll cast Lightning Bolt off this Sheevan Reef. See if he has a counter. He doesn't. Well then, I'll go ahead and annex this colonnade. Since he's probably gonna, since it's better for me to leave up Ghost Quarter than the Desolate Lighthouse here. Since I can't activate Desolate Lighthouse. Does he have a counter now? 
he does. Well, all right then. Opponent still looks like they're pretty screwed. Okay, so now they have a fourth land, which means they could Snapcaster Remand. Uh, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So I can leave up. I can leave up Mana Leak to counter the Snapcaster. So. Just gonna. So tap Island. There. Is this cryptic? Dissolve. Ooh, that's spicy. Dissolve won't resolve. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. Okay, so I counter it, and he's going to blow up his own colonnade in response. Wow. Go ahead, You can go ahead and do that. Now my desolate lighthouse is safe. He's still down a land, which is what I was trying to do there. Sure. I'll pass. Wall of Omens, sure. All right, Relic, that's irrelevant. So I'm going to cast this Annex. on the Hallowed Fountain since it's his only white source right now. And I get it! So then I'm just gonna use up my mana because there's not much that they can cast here that I'm worried about. And I'm down to four minutes on my clock, but I think I'm going to win this. Especially now that I, especially with this loot house, I can just start looting every turn and my opponent can't do that much about it. And they have to discard the hand size. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about this game. Is it Signet? I'll just, I'm just going to pass the turn here. They draw a ghost quarter. I'll loot Dream Leash. Oh, that doesn't help me that much here. So I think I might as well pitch it. Or no, I'll pitch the Is It Signet. I'll relic my opponent. And I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna crack this Mind Stone now since I don't need the mana. Draw land. All right. Frost Titan. There we go.
So let's go. Frost Titan. Can our opponent do anything about it? Well, doesn't look like it. So if I tap down the ghost quarter, they're going to blow up our loot house. So I'm just going to cut them off of a colored mana. I don't have enough mana to loot, but that's fine. Hmm, I'm running low on clock, though. Let's activate Relic. Opponent discards another Wall of Omens. So that's a land. Go ahead and attack with Frost Titan. I'll lock down Wall of Omens because I don't think there's any card that they could cast for four mana that would get rid of this Frost Titan. Because if they like tried to bounce it with Cryptic Command, then So now they can cryptic tap. So let's loot house. And our opponent paths our frost titan. Okay. And they're going to pay for it. Sure. Yeah. I'll go ahead and grab an island. Discard bolt. Relic. Hey. Let's freeze that hallowed fountain. And I actually can loot at their end step. But I'm down to less than two minutes, so. Let's see, what does our opponent have here? Glen Alondra Archmage. That, I don't think, helps them here. Because I don't need to cast spells for pretty much the rest of the game. It is a returning, it, it does, it is a recursive blocker, which is a little bit annoying. Maybe they're just trying to clock me here. Serum visions. I don't think I need that. I'll just pitch this dream leash though, because they're not going to let me resolve it. Oh, hey, look, another one. You know what? Sure, let's go for the Dream Leash. Make them sack the Archmage. And they let us take it. Okay, so... I'll attack. Freeze Archmage so that he can't block with that. So he chumps with the wall, that's that's fine. Celestial Colonnade, sure.
So relic. And yeah, sure, pass. I could have looted there, but clock is now an issue. I'm just going to F6 to try and save time. And what does our opponent... Snapcaster. Okay. So they buy themselves another turn. So they are playing Snapcasters. Detention Sphere. Uh, I, sh I probably should have cracked my relic there to try and draw a counter spell. That's annoying. So I think I'm going to and loot but I'm now down to yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna lose this to time but you can see that I would have won here so if my computer wasn't being so ornery So yeah, I timed out there because this deck is kind of slow, but I would have won, probably. So, good games. This has been Canon Spectacle with Eminent Domain. I'll see you guys in the next video.